Hello all Supernatural fans, and especially my brother Mark out in California. Isabel's weapons box is finished. It was actually finished last night, and I did a video on it. And I got out of the shop, oh uh, God, I was a little, uh, well, I guess it was closer to one o'clock uh, when I got out of here. And unfortunately, uh, when I was talking about this car when I did my video, I was so tired that I was calling it a different name. And when I got home, I thought, oh, I better check my video and make sure everything came out. And then I found out that I was calling Isabella another name. So obviously, uh, pretty tired. So the weapons box is done. And Mark went with the hero box on Isabel. That was just the one that he really liked. Uh, so that's the one we made. So what you're going to see here is obviously if you go back and watch uh, the previous videos on stuff, the carpet here is a dark charcoal. Down here is more of a silver slash gray. And then it also has the end caps. Um, and you see the seam here? That's just like as it is on the original. Uh, so that's where they, they butt up. Now, I do not like making this box at all. Um, in fact, when I really priced these things, I priced them so people wouldn't want me to build them. Um, I know that kind of sounds awful, but I just really don't like making these. And it's not so much um, the box itself. I mean, it's, it's not fun, but what kills me on the hero box is this carpet right here. Uh, I'm gonna have to find something better because this stuff is so, so hard to work with. And there's a mesh backing on it and it's very stiff. Uh, it frays, it doesn't cut right. Uh, and so you have to take like a, a, like a little torch and sends the edges, kind of melt them so it doesn't keep fraying and stuff. And then there's just places back there that I can't get to with the torch and stuff. So it looks kind of shabby, which is good because of the original cars that way. So this here is a two by two that we uh, paint black and, and wedge down in there. Now, I would say that you could probably put like a screw or something in that. Um, I don't know. The reason for that is your tail lights are down here. So that way you can move this if you need to get your tail lights out. It's, I mean, it's, it's pretty sturdy. I mean, uh, but there might be another little bit better way to anchor that down. Um, I always look at access to tail lights and stuff like that. Or on the supernatural car, if something comes up, they can, you know, obviously do that. But I know a lot of you guys out there are not supernatural, uh, are, sorry, not car people. Okay, hold, excuse me here, and I'm going to uh, drop our wood, which I've been using as a makeshift shotgun. Okay, so there's the, the top, um, all carpeted all the way back and everything. So it's... It's pretty cool, you know, I mean, uh, these things, uh, excuse me again while I uh, get my piece of wood here to put up here. Um, these weapons boxes are cool. I mean, this is what makes the car. I would say this is the number one thing that fans want to see. I mean, besides the car rolling in, if you roll up in a black 67 Impala four-door, they're going to ask you, people are going to ask you, you got the weapons box? So, you know, a very important piece of... Uh, the lore, the legend, uh, however you want to call this car, but um, the weapons box is done. Now, we picked up this car from the exhaust shop, and you're going to notice that the tips or the ends are not right. Uh, I found out, we went to a new guy, he's local, so this saved me taking the car all the way to Kansas City, which is an hour drive. So, Local guy said, oh, I can do it. And he just did not have the tool, uh, the correct die or whatever to bend the pipe for the tip. And so he's like, well, this is what I did. If you don't like it, you know, I left room. You can cut it off and, and add your chrome tips to it. So Don this week is going to do the chrome tips on it. So that's just, you know, uh, but the, for the price that we got, it was much better than Kansas City's. It's aluminized. So um, I'm very, very pleased with that end of the, the deal. 
So it is what it is, and we're going to get the, I mean, it's better exhaust, and we're going to get the tips put on. So with that being said, uh, da, 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 da. the car sounds good. I'm going to do a video on it here real quick. Uh, this car is, I'm calling it almost officially done. Uh, obviously, it's not because, I'm going to come up here on our um, frame stretcher, uh, straightener. So, we got the tips to put on it, and then the car is done. She's done. New antenna's been put on. Everything works. Um, Don drove it uh, when we went to the exhaust shop. Uh, he drove it about, hmm, I'd say we're about maybe a mile from the exhaust shop. And uh, he said it drove like a new one, which is great. We have not had the opportunity to take this out on the highway. So we don't know if there's any little things wrong with it. It shouldn't be. Uh, but Mark is going to have the Isabel all taken care of on the alignment up in California. I guess his shot, once they do it, it's like a lifetime deal, which like I, I completely get it. So there is Isabel this week. She's, she looks so good. Um, of course, obviously the, the weapons box, uh, just to me, that's what, I mean, the car is gorgeous. I mean, obviously I think so, but the weapons box just really, really does wonders for this car. I mean, I always told people, if you got a black 67 Impala four-door hardtop and you put the chrome wheels and you, even you do everything up and you don't have the weapons box, then you just got a black 67 Impala. You know, you don't have Dean's car. Dean's car, obviously the boys hunt monsters and demons and, and stuff. So therefore, you have to have the weapons box to hunt, you know, to be considered Dean's car. Uh, that doesn't mean I, that I want to say, oh, I'll put them all in for you guys or anything like that. It just means that, and, and I've always told people, if you guys want the correct dimensions for this box, um, you know, let me know and I'll, and I'll get you the dimensions. And, and I won't tell you how to build it, but um, I will give you the dimensions and you guys can figure that out yourself. And the reason I do that is because Supernatural gave me the dimensions and um, they didn't tell me how to build it. I had to figure it out. Now, on that note, these weapons boxes that I build, I'm going to tell you right now, it's a lot better than what the show has. Um, these here are very sturdy. They're going to outlive you. Um, they're just, they're built to last. Supernatural, on the other hand, they're built really crappy, the originals. And, you know, it's, it's just shown on film. And so people don't realize how um, kind of hokey it is, I guess would be the proper term for that. Because like when I picked up the original Heroes 1's lid and I went up here and I opened it up and this lid, you could literally just move it up and down, up and down. This one isn't going anywhere. Uh, we use a very big hinge on this. Theirs was just, I saw the hinge because, and believe it or not, the carpet on the uh, supernatural car on top and stuff, except for maybe on the lid, but it's not glued down. And everywhere, you'll never see a screw on my cars. It's all hidden. And I want it to look very clean, very nice, very professional. And I thought that's the way the supernatural car was because when you see it on screen, you don't see that stuff. And when I got there, I just saw that they just drilled screws through the carpet and stuff. And I was like, oh my God. And so basically what I'm saying is, if I was to build a box like they use on the show, um, or let me put the quality that they build, and I was turning these out to fans, oh my God, everybody would be bad mouthing me and you know, not knowing that's the way it really is on the show. So what I've done, obviously, is giving you the same box, but this thing, like I said, is gonna last you that will outlast you. You can give it to your kids and, and stuff like that. There's, um, you can't see it, but there is a metal frame all welded up in here. Into this, and this thing is never going anywhere. So it's, a, it's, it's done very, very nicely. And in fact, when I was on set and me and Bud Nick were talking, and he's like, Rick, you're the one that should have built our boxes because you build them 
you know, so awesome and sturdy and stuff like that. Which, when they say that to me, that just tells me they've had issues. But, you know, I understand it is a movie car slash TV car uh, that it's, you know, it's not built to take the kind of, you know, it, I guess it's built to take abuse, but in the same factor that they don't need top quality because they got people to fix it all the time. And like I've said, you know, supernatural people, most of the time, if you guys are car guys, I'm not, you know, kicking in the nuts here or anything, but most people are, people are not, su or most supernatural fans are not car people. And so a lot of people are like, well, I don't know how to fix this and stuff like that. So obviously when I build something for somebody, I take that into effect uh, or consideration and I don't want you guys to try to have to fix something that I've given to you. That would just not be right in my book. So there she is. I, th I think she looks super badass. Uh, I'm not saying that because of the, uh, because I built it. I, I just think it, I love these things. I, I really do. And a little special note on this box. I did make this box a little bit taller. Um, so this way, when these uh, the weapons box comes down, it's not so close to this. Uh, it just gives a little bit. It's always going to stick up. That's the thing uh, with these boxes. A lot of people don't realize that when you close the lid, they're still they stick up a little bit because you have differences in carpets, and you know, and and the way thickness of this carpet is different than the thickness of this carpet. And so when you close it and you don't have any weapons in, you know, it sticks up maybe like a sixteenth of an inch, if maybe an eighth, somewhere right in there. And that's just because of the carpets. Now, what people don't realize, the original car does the exact same thing. And then also a lot of people don't realize, they think when, when everything's on this, this lid here and then all, everything's down here in the trunk, that when this closes, this should sit tight and flush and, and everything. No, guys, in Supernatural, when they close it, it's sticking up probably off this two, three inches. You know, it's just the nature of the beast. But, you know, you never see that because if the only thing you see is Dean grabbing and opening up and then everything's there, you know, props the shotgun up and they grab what they want and he throws it down and closes the hood. So... Uh, you guys never see that. I've seen it in person. You know, I'm telling you what it is. But so if you get these, you know, and you're like, well, how come my box is, or if you build one yourself, and you're like, well, how come my box doesn't close like completely flush? It's, it's the thickness difference of the carpets and stuff. So I am going to try to find some different carpet. And, um, and so I got to have the same color. I just got to have something that's easier to work with, more pliable, bendable, uh, that it stick. The, the gray carpet that's used on the box, that stuff is really easy to work with. Um, I wish God Supernatural would just use that in everything, but they didn't. So, oh, something I wanted to point out to everybody. Let's talk about this here real quick. Um, interior. When you guys do your interior, you're gonna, this is a perfect example. Okay, see where that buckskin has come off? And you see where it's, you see that little spot up there on that uh, corner or the uh, beep post? See down here where the, uh, the buckskin's coming off and over here it's coming off? That is because when these doors close and stuff, everything catches and hits and stuff and it's going to come off. So that is the way it is on the original cars and stuff. So I guess basically the reason I'm pointing this out is don't try to fix every little flaw that happens to your interior. The original cars are in much, much worse shape. Uh, even Hero One, they try to keep it nice and stuff, but this is, this is far more uh, in better shape than Hero One and stuff. And uh, so anyway, and then like there, you can see it right there on the uh, B post right there. And that's just from the seals touching and the doors closing um, right there on the kick panels. It just happens, guys. So just wanted to point that out. A lot of people I know are always trying to keep touching them up, touching them up. Don't make them look used and abused. So because that's the way it is on the show. And like I said, if this car has been driven across 
the United States a million times, it's going to have wear, tear, nicks, you know, studying things with it. So keep that in mind. Don't make them try to look perfect and stuff. So if you're trying to, you know, match the shell, if you're trying to build a show car, obviously you want to do that. So there you guys go. There's the weapons box. Uh, I will be talking to you here uh, very shortly because we're going to do a, I'm going to do a video on the sound ever. So to the next video. Bye.